Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Other Than Ever Dreadnoughts, where it is now. 1934. Goodness gracious me. Right, um, there's not a lot going on. Britain is at war with the United States, um, which actually seems to have improved the American economy. They've been... Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> Very briefly, their negative growth stopped. Now... Um, the game has been updated, and the devs were talking about economy changes. I've done a lot of work trying to stop nonsense like this. I'm not quite sure why France and Japan are showing massive growth. Um, we passed the one trillion threshold, but normally by this point in the game, like you're zooming away with it. Um, and France is sitting on an awful lot of extra territory, so um, I'm reasonably happy with how the economy changes have worked. Obviously, I'm sitting on absolutely pots of money, um, which means it is time to do some refits. The next ship on the list is the Saigon, so I will load that up, and I'll see you in the shipyard. Right, here we go. Yeah, we've got the same issue that we had with the fingers, which is that these barbets are not big enough, but we do have other options. Which is good. Sorry, that's very loud in my ear. Um, I will check the sound levels on the recording. So I'm gonna swap that barbet out for, no, uh, medium's too big. Um, that doesn't fit. Doesn't look amazing, but it works. Need just that little bit of extra height. There we go. Uh, lovely. I don't think there's anything else that is going to need a crazy amount done to it. Um, this might be another ship that benefits from a diesel engine. Because they're not fast. Place the RDF with the radio. Oh, I should be in uh, millimeter, of course. And we're at one sixty on the old armor. Um, yes, because we're four percent overweight. Yeah, yeah, diesels gets us some of the way there. And if I reduce rain, it's still very good. Yes, okay. Uh, pretty pretty sizable refit, five months. But that should mean that these ships are, again, they're not particularly fast heavy cruisers, but they'll get the job done. All right, bit of a surprise. I uh, got a new light cruiser. Uh, and this one is reasonably priced because the towers aren't 10 times too expensive. Um, <laughs> so we might as well. Uh, it'll ruin the uh, perfect fleet composition numbers, but um, oh well. Let's go max size for this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go for the... Let's go for this one, I think. Uh, doesn't fit. Go for this one, then. Please tell me those are not structural boats. They're not. Good. Good, good. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, all of these are the same. I think I'm going to go for this one. Um, funnel? No. More important to have ships, boats, I guess. There we go. Uh, right, main guns. 155s. Go for triples. Forty-five. Uh, oh, the washing machine. Why is it the washing machine only ever spins up right when I'm about to start recording? Hmm? Why? Uh, I can actually put a gun down here, but I'm actually thinking that'll be a nice little torpedo deck. Again, really wish there was a group command, but there isn't. Right. Lovely. So, six 155s. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can definitely have some 80 mil. Uh, torpedo launchers. Yes, I can put couple on the back. Let's get rid of those boats. Um, I guess... Yeah, there's no room there, but we could definitely fit a set of 80mm guns, including that somewhat amusing uh, centerline mounted one. Those can definitely be useful. 38s, sure, why not? Um, standard, standard, standard. Oil. Probably gear turbines for this ship. So we're going to be going quite fast. Do, 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 do. Oxygen torps, and I realise now I didn't refit the uh, the Saigons have got standard torps rather than oxygens, but it's fine. Increasing the size is the main thing. Yeah, those things are going to be nasty. Uh, armor. 150? Yeah, you can do 150. Um, 150 and 50. 50 and 25. What is the maximum on this? Yeah. Pretty much are at max on the main belt. Um, so let's go 75, 50, 25, and uh, 25, 20, 15 on the deck. And we're at 93% means we can make this thing maximum bulk kids. Uh, a pipper range. And yeah, just keep it as standard. Quarters. The Dugai Turan, I think. I know I will be corrected in the comments. And I won't understand the <laughs> I won't understand it because it's it's impossible to write 
how to pronounce something. <laughs> it's really difficult. Anyway, thank you for trying, people in the comments. Um, yeah, I think these should do well. I think I'm going to build a class of 10, bringing us to 60 light cruisers total. These are a lot more affordable and generally superior to the more expensive Jurien de la Graviers, but that's, again, because the towers are way too expensive on those. Um, cool. I'm going to save this and get those 10 building. All right. We have the 10 ships under construction. Uh, they'll take 14 months, so they'll finish just before the Dantons. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll just let the game decide where they're going. Things pretty quiet overall. We might end up in a war with America, which... Oh, they are actually growing again. Okay, so they've had multiple... Oh, God, their apple's going to get in trouble again. How are you nine billion in the hole? I was about to say they finally started growing again, but they seem to be stuck in this in this rut where they keep they keep fucking fucking up. Um, and I and I do genuinely think it's because they have these provinces here, and it's causing all all sorts of problems for the AI because it's not used to having um, home provinces like this. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, they seem to have pieced out with Britain. And, uh, yeah, I'll just keep an eye. While uh, France's economy <laughs> zooms off to the moon. This, I don't mind. This is a bit poor. Mind you, we are bringing in a truly insane amount of oil. Which is probably something to do with it. All right, we've got a refit to do. This time it is the Tonkanoi, which has a slight problem in that none of the 50 millimeter guns fit anymore. Um, we'll we'll to probably double geared steam turbines are gonna be fine on this ship. Um, quite a few little upgrades here. Nice, and we're at 92%, probably because we dropped all those uh, 50 mil, which again have reset to 51. Do not know why the game keeps doing that. Um, seems every time the game updates, which is frequently at the moment, um, that happens. Um, right, let's replace... the uh, single 50 mil up here with a triple um, with what triple either side yeah we could do that and maybe one next to the funnel so slightly fewer actual emplacements but I think that's pretty much the same number of barrels the other obvious upgrade that I would be looking at here would be to replace the single 130s with I mean, no, we're going to be pushing it. Replace them with, what, twin 130s? That would be kind of cool. 45s 97. Maybe I could replace them with triples. Hmm, no. Stick with the dual. And we'll use the spare displacement to grab standard crew quarters. There we go. So that's actually a pretty big upgrade. That's doubled their firepower. Um, nice. 
Can make that a 40. There we go. So just a, just a cute little doubling of firepower of these destroyers. And uh, I'll get those on the go. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Only two months. Lovely. All right, next up, it's time for the Tricolors to get their fourth refit, I think. Um, now, there is an amusing thing I could could do here. And that is to break my own rule. And finally allow them to fire four guns all forward. There we go. Finally getting to use the quad gun. <laughs> uh, oops, I did not need to take a torpedo tube off. Come here. Stupid boats. Getting in the way. Um, yeah, that'll uh, save a lot of weight. And give it a surprising amount of flexible firepower, I think. Um, well, two. Gear two turbines. Four. Pop it five. Better shells and propellant. Long lances. Auto loader. Radar, sonar, better range finder. Mm hmm. And then we have spare displacement. I do need to fix the gun lengths. Oh, there was a reason they were 37s, I guess. 40 millimeter. No, 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 no. 50, thank you. 50, 40s. Um, what other nonsense can we do on this? We don't get puppets, do we? Mm. No. Well, I know what we can do with them. Push speed. Okay, too much. But 28 knots. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing is gone. It's still going. 28 knots. Four. Okay, it's only four six inch guns. But it's not terrible on 6,000 tons. A bunch of 80 mil. And a bunch of long, long lances. What's not to love? <laughs> okay, I'll get these refitting. Okay, uh, <clears throat> next up in the refit schedule are the Britannias. Okay, and they face the, the gun doesn't fit problem. Okay, I'll take those off completely for now. Uh, that is, for some reason, weirdly a twin. Uh, okay. Uh, those are twins too, for some reason. If you were the person who told me off about that in the comments, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, dearie me. Right. One, one day I'll remember everything. Um, right, main guns then. Uh, I mean... Can we fit a nine inch? A, t a 230? Not on the front. You can on the back. Uh, ain't nothing fitting on the front. Is there a different tower? So that we have a little bit more room. One without a bit on it. No. Because F you. Um, can I be cunning 
with, ah, oh, yeah, but, well, maybe. With that funnel there, if I, if I could, uh, that won't fit. Can I shove a front tower in this space? Uh, I thought I might be able to get away with that. Um, I mean, this is... Is that any less space than this? No, if anything, it's worse. Let's get this one. forward. It's because it's a minimum displacement hull. Oh, I can make it the first one that I can't I can't actually refit. I mean, I do have other options. Um, most obvious one would be to Stick a quad, quad gun on the back, and then just put like a another one five five on the front. Uh, can I fit a quad like? Uh, a quad three hundred. How about a 260? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's very, very stupid. Very stupid layout. But okay. <laughs> oh my word. Right. speed diesel yeah diesel and then we can put a battery system in um, uh, yeah we're on 360 Uh, right, well, I guess we can try and push speed. Uh, yeah, 25 seems like a good balance without sending that over. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll do. <laughs> it's a very weird ship now. Extremely strange. I don't think I've reduced the firepower that much. But, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to get these refitting. Right, welcome back. I finally got the ticks that I wanted. And that tick is the 15-inch Mark IV, basically. Um, because we're going to build a Richelieu, basically. But this Richelieu is going to be slightly different. She's going to have 400 millimeter, 55 caliber guns. Those are going to be, I think, pretty punchy. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that this ship 
when you make it bigger. Yeah, it just makes the central island bigger. Uh, I'm going to go for 55. That's basically the same size as the Dantons. Uh, but will hopefully be superior. What's the speed of the Dantons? 30. Let's see if we can get up to 32. Uh, might need some jiggling around of how this works. Um, probably do want the best tower. It's not that much heavier. Can you do that? Can you tuck that in there? That is nice. Does seem to restrict the fire arc a fair bit, though. So we'll just move it back ever so slightly. Uh, and then for the secondary tower, probably the light. I don't like these backwards front towers. Um, and then that should fit in nicely. Yes, it does. Good. Funnels. Can do the slightly odd French double stack. Oh, no, they still don't look right. Might as well just go for two enormous funnels then. Um, should give me plenty of engine efficiency. Then, well, we're probably going to want our tried and tested 155s. Uh, triple pair at the back. Um, would be cool if you could put a barbet on that, but sadly, not an option. And then probably some eighty millimeter dotted about. Uh, now these side. Mounts. I think just another another uh, eighty mil will be fine because that gives me the option of reducing beam, uh, which should help me be able to achieve that uh, that high speed. So I'll just take a little bit off the beam. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit off the draft too. Should shouldn't affect the super firing. Nope. Um, no, I don't want you to increase in size. There we go. Let's go fifty-two five hundred. Um, cool. Oil. I think steam is going to be our best option for propulsion. percent over but the game has by default put quite a lot of armor on uh, we're also up to 170 armor quality right let's have a look at how these guns perform okay they're 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 pretty punchy um okay beep right let's uh let's armor against the 155s first so they can go through Point blank, 120-ish. So if we go 150 on the four and a half belt, does that protect against the HE from the 15 inch? Yes, it does. Okay, so we're protected there. Uh, maximum deck pen of these things is like 18. 
And on these, it's a lot more. It's like th 300. No, 300 is way too much. But we could maybe do two hundred for now um maybe about, actually could we go 500 and 250 that would be insanely tanky and then yeah we go to like one two five uh what can these fit yeah let's go 550 I'm going to have to downgrade this armor. Right. Let's go 500, 250 on here. And then let's go more like 400, 200, 100, 100. That's a little bit more reasonable. Um, Up armor those because they're going to get in combat a fair bit. Uh, internals. Let's go on 50, 75, 50. And let's just get 100 then. And same here. Uh, that leaves me 4% overweight. Um, standard. Range standard, 3%. Can I go to 53? Yes, 53 and a half. Yes, 54. Yes, okay, let's go 54. Gives me only 2% that I need to get rid of. Hull, bulkheads, fuel. Uh, see, engines are not a big cost. They're down here. So I don't... Th if I went down to 30 knots, yeah, it doesn't give me that much. Uh, thanks to that reduced beam. Could drop fuel another pip. And then I'm only 165 tons. So I haven't done the conning tower, which is a bit of an issue. Um, I mean, I could go... What did the Dantons have? They also had many bulkheads. Okay, let's go many bulkheads, standard range. Um, yes. That... Um, the, the trouble with having an all forward uh, is that the um, the when you're fighting in a fleet, right? You, most of your fleet is a broadside ship. These can fight with them. But they are much happier just going straight in. Hmm. I mean, we're France. Maybe it represents a change in philosophy. Anyway, I'm going to call this... Uh... Do, 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 do. Um, the Musketeer, because why not? <laughs> um, not that the lead ship is going to be called this. Uh, I'm sure you can guess what the names are going to be. Um, and uh, I'm going to get those under construction and I'll be back with their names and things in a second. All right, there we go. The Athos, the Porthos and the Adamus under construction. Um, but I think I want to have a companion vessel because we have, I think, yeah, plenty of 
um, shipbuilding capability, and I've not done anything with the Battle Cruiser 4. So I'm going to build a companion ship, and I will go and do that uh, and load up the hull. Right, here we go, the Battle Cruiser 4. We also have um, some other ships, but I will build on those at another time. I think that um, a companion vessel um, is is suitable. Uh, in fact, we're going to call you the companion class. Uh, now, they can be pretty big, up to 45,000 tons, and they can go pretty fast, but we're only going to make them go the same speed as the Musketeers, um, because, again, they, they're supposed to be a companion. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, and reduce the beam slightly, and I think 40,000 tons to get that medium length. But they're going to look very, very similar. Uh, except for their funnels. Which are apparently not going to be the same style of funnel. They're going to be these weird... Actually, I'll probably get away with one. Yeah. We're going to go with just the one funnel on these. Uh, which I'm actually going to put here. So that this can be used as a boat deck. Uh, then, for the main guns, we're going to use the same 400mm guns. But they are going to be triples rather than quads. Okay, Because I really like A, B, triple... <laughs> all forward battle cruisers they are surprisingly good 19 55s and then on the back the same all oh, well almost the same because it won't let me put one down here so one less uh 155 and Fewer of the 80 mil, but we can maybe get some 50s, yeah. There we go. Slightly different secondary gun profile. Um, more for kind of dealing with transports and things like that. Um, keeping the musketeers safe. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight. That's 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 fine. Um, and uh, potentially punching above their weight because these guns can certainly do. A fair bit of damage. Um, yeah, let's build out the rest of the ship. Okay, and then the rest can go on armor. Uh, So far, so good. Oops, seven hundred. Wow, okay. 
I'm surprised. I thought that, that was going to be a much more difficult build. Um, could even get many bulkheads on them. Well, there you go. These should do very nicely indeed. Um, I'm actually debating whether I should... I've, I've already assigned where the Musketeers are going to get built. But I might change where they're stationed after the fact. Because I think these ships are all going to fight better as a unit. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to add a fourth Musketeer. <laughs> okay, uh, to the fleet screen. All right, there we go. Uh, I've added the fourth musketeer and the companions. I'm gonna, when these are finished, I'm gonna move all of them to La Rochelle and the fleet that was in La Rochelle, consisting of ten of our of our older ships plus the Triomphant. Uh, I'm moving all of them to La Spezia because uh, La Spezia is a big port and I don't have anything in it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.